G'day mates, and welcome back to the Winter Wars mod for Sweden. Uh, we have a few things to mention first. Uh, there is currently 56 people at the moment uh, listening in, uh, watching, judging, looking at me as well. You can't see me, YouTuber, but the Twitch chat can. So uh, this is at the end of the 24-hour stream I just did. Uh, let me just move that timer as well. You can't even see what I'm doing, so just ignore, ignore my subtle... Uh, administrations. Uh, but yeah, this is at the end of the 24-hour stream. Again, Twitch chat is currently saying, hey mum, they, they they can't see you. No one can see you. Uh, but yeah, I've been now awake for 33 hours, and therefore I decided it was a good idea to record and edit a video. Should we get to work? Yes, we should. So, last time we left off, holy fuck, apparently there's a bunch of bloody tanks. So, uh, so the Russians have mechanized and have uh, industrialized their industry. I believe last time we were about to actually stick all these new troops we'd found up our asses. Ah, uh, sorry, through Leningrad, rather. Uh, the Germans are defending their border. Mm, I wouldn't say well, but adequate, uh, adequately. And then along here, of course, we've got them defending Latvia and my territory. I didn't really ask them to do this, but you know what? They're willing to do it. And is that a fucking... Oh, God. Uh, uh, we have to send our fleet out to kill them. Yeah, we probably do. All right. Let's see. Um. All right, let's fucking do this. I think let's just start rolling off. We'll see if they attack us, and if they don't, we're gonna rush out from Leningrad as soon as our boys get here. Because frankly, I see a juicy fucking surround right here. All right, boys, how we going? God, I keep trying to switch to uh, Stellaris controls. I've played a lot of Stellaris in this, uh... Oh, shit. I've realized the problem with the surround. Is that a mechanized division? Holy shit. I very, very rarely see those. Here we go. We'll do this. Oh, we might have seen a juicy ass earlier. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There was, um... There was some beauty on stream. Don't, don't worry. There was, uh... Some candid action. There was, a. Uh, it was quite a good stream. Oh, it is a quite a good stream. It is going, has, was been a good fuck. Stream is fun. Very good. I'm also, uh, very, very, oh, oh my god, yes, finally. The Swedish Empire. After having been defunct for over 200 years, the Swedish Empire has returned. Ruling over Scandinavia as is our birthright, all that remains now is to determine the rule of the Emperor. Well, he certainly should remain an important figure. The question remains, should he be the one and only ruler, or should he pair, uh, share power with the Rix Eldare? I have no idea, but I'm going to guess that's like the, the government council or whatever. Uh, right. And this guy, who appears to be Michael I of Romania. Um, oh my god, he becomes a general if this happens? Fuck it. The Emperor reigns supreme. Oh my god, I'm happy with my choice. Mmm, mmm, that is a good choice. Having been gone for more than 200 years, the Swedish Empire has been declared by the king, now Emperor, Gustav V, uh, sorry, V, of Sweden. This proclamation comes at the heels of Sweden's reclamation of the Åland Islands and their subjugation of the Baltic States. With much more aggressive foreign policy, Northern Europe has seen another powerful player arise. Remains to see how this affects relations between the Soviet Union and the German Reich. It's beautiful. Right, uh, can we actually have a look at that general as well? Um, now, we can go down here, we can go... We are still going back to being democratic, aren't we? Yeah, we are. So let's just not choose things for a while. Oh, we have to be at peace to do that. That's not going to happen. Um... Shit. Well, shit. Um. Fuck. We may have fucked up slightly. We may not actually want to go democratic at all. In fact, I think there is literally no reason for us to go democratic anymore. Uh. Because we can't. Because we're. Okay, if we can get out of a faction, that's fine. We can get out of being fascist. But we're not gonna peace deal this war, are we? Or we might. It's only the Soviet Union. 
You know what? Fuck it. Let's let's stay in here. Let's let's keep it going. Cause you know Stacy's mum's got it going on. All right, we've got this. Here we go. Start moving out. Beautiful. Gonna try and cut across there. Uh, rulers of Norse. Done. As the most successful descendants of the Norse, we're also the ones with the greatest claims to inherit their land. All of them. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my god. Chat is currently just telling a variety of terrible jokes. Like, really bad. Like, dad jokes. Like, really bad. Anyway, we're not gonna look at chat. Chat isn't here, right? It's just me and you, YouTube viewer. You should feel special. Connected. You know, spiritual even. Um, here we get to see the Yugoslavians desperately defending territory they should not give a shit about. Yeah, Yugoslavia, you seem really keen on this war now after you fucking hated it beforehand. Alright, bunch of plane noises, why is that? That's because there's a bunch of planes. I probably should have expected that. Frankly, coming out of the uh, variety of plane noises, you know. It's just something that happens. Alright, let's see. What are we doing? Um, oh, do we go more na- Why do we even need naval- uh, Oh god, I don't want any of these, really. It's just, it's manpower to put in the sky and I'm gonna lose it. I don't want to. This is fine. Tanks we could start upgrading, but I thought we're not really gonna bother with them this time around. Could get more of uh, those. Oh shit, yeah, let's just start upgrading infantry. Done. And Chad is now rioting because they dare to point out the fact that they are an insignificant element of this video. Alright. The rulers of Norse. Let's expand the mines. Let's, uh... Shit, what do we need here? Boost up a close air support? Sure. Brilliant, brilliant. Lovely little surround here. Kill some tanks and some infantry. It was a nice small one, you know, but it wasn't, uh... Wasn't too garish, wasn't too big. It was just a nice little, uh, little encirclement. And apparently the Germans have advanced past my lines. Um... Not sure what to really make of this, but okay. That's uh, that's a thing you can do, Germans. I'm not going to stop you, but I just don't recommend it. I'm also going to capture this guy in Finland. Hang on. Democratic prop uh, propaganda in Scandinavia. Throughout Scandinavia, there's been a marked increase in the amount of anti-fascist, anti-communist, and anti-neutrality literature that's been going around in the form of uh, newspapers and pamphlets. Most of this can be traced back to the government of Norway. Okay. It's unlikely anyone will do anything about this. Oh my fucking god, they're giving us democratic influence. What the fuck, Norway? Did you actually do this? Norway, you're kind of a cunt. God damn it. Alright, here we go. Um, let's see. What do we want to do? Uh, god, just... Actually, let's go back and get more bloody, uh, infantry. Get... Uh, in really little bits and pieces, right? Um, okay, so punching through here. What is no no? This, this lad is meant to just go this way on his own. Come on. I'm sorry. What were you saying? Something about holding position? Hit what? Good boy. He is a very good boy. Good boy. -er. Hey, trap this guy in here. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Lovely little surround. Nice and calm, like, executed just fine. Democratics demand referendum. Okay, um... Alright, here we go. Fascism defeated. We are once again, merely Greater Sweden. This guy's in charge, I have no idea, I, I don't know who this guy is. Alright, well then, um... Nothing really much has changed. Uh, we can start already moving back to, uh, here we go, moving back to, to communist and fascist. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Let's go down desperate defense because we're going to need that manpower at some point. Let's, uh, let's switch that democratic reformer around to a fascist one. Do we, no, not just yet. Not just yet. We'll hold off a little bit. Or do we? Or do we, do we? No, we don't. We, we don't, because, uh, fucking, what's his name? Norway's gonna be a right cunt about this, and he's gonna try and make us become even more democratic. The bastard. 
Right. Do you say press embargo? No, I was dealing with that today. Don't don't talk about those no more. I'm sick of them. Novigrod. Is it Novigrod? Is that a city in uh, in The Witcher Three? I'm not hundred percent sure it is. I I like to steal a lot of witch of uh, city names from Witcher Three. Um, they're very good. Valesburg, for example, very good name. A lot of anything Berg in it is generally a nice thing. What does Berg mean? Oh, shit, I'm gonna Google Berg. Hang on. What does Berg mean? means town. I mean, that's probably why it's a good name for a town. I may have I may have just connected the dots. Fuck. I'm so smart. God, I'm an intelligent person. Um, right, let's actually just keep claiming systems. Why did I just say systems? My god, I'm still playing Stellaris. Help me. Fucking help me. Oh my god. Alright. Circling around here. Here we go. This cheeky little bastard here thinks he's going to escape. Oh, oh, and that's a uh, surround. My apologies, my good man, but you are dead. We're just fucking nickel and diming the Soviet Union right here. 600,000 to 11,000. Alright. Um, this is a recording, Remy. Fuck off. <laughs> Bloody Twitch chat is constantly trying to do a variety of things. And uh, what's this smooth voice Remy that's happening right now? It's Remy trying to pay attention and talk and actually record a video as opposed to just streaming where he doesn't give a fuck. So, you know. Um, right, what are we doing here? Yes. Why would I ever say no to this? Are you actually gonna like... F Whoa, fucking hell. I've just realized where all of the Soviet's army was. Um, also, we have so much equipment. So I guess we're just gonna focus on building a bunch more fighters? Sure. Let's just flood the skies with fighters. And production-wise, let's go oil. Let's go aluminium. Let's go rubber. And hope the rubber don't break. Okay, rubber's clearly breaking. Rubber has broke. Sci oh no, oh, oh god. British Malaya's done the thing where we can't none trade none more. Oh, that'll be because we have to go through here, which is... Hang on. Why the fuck can't we trade with you, alright? British Malay, you little shit dick. Why can't we trade with you? <sighs> like, I'm 99% sure I can draw a line to you. Oh, wait, hang on. Is it because British Malay is at war with the German right? Ah, that'll be why. That'll be why. Yep, that's why they can't trade with us. Because they can't get through the uh, Danish belts. Clever girl, honestly. Remy is Russian to industrialize. What? What? What is this? <sighs> Good lord, man, if you did, uh, if you'd read that. Thanks for you for the sub, but, uh, but read that correctly. The fall of Rome. You are actually fucking kidding me. You are actually fucking kidding me. No. No, 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 no. That's not okay. Oh boy. Shit. Shit. Uh, right. Left, right, left, right, left. Lessons of war. Uh, yeah, we're not joining your war. Wait, hang on. I'm already in that war. I'm gonna refuse it just because I don't know what that'll bring me into. But Germany's gonna fall. Italy's fallen. Japan is still around, thank God, so they're not going to like capitulate completely, but that means that the Soviet Union can refocus on us easier. God damn it. Right. How are we going to do this? How are we going to move from here? We can just bash through these boys. Lovely. Alright. Cut into these boys. Lovely, lovely. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Get across that fucking river, mate. Here we go. Alright, these boys, I'm done, I'm done sitting on those forts, right? They're good forts, they're good forts, they've served us well. Alright, they're tough forts, alright, they're, uh, they're two forts, even. Alright, we're going all the way back up here. All the way up, there we go. Getting all our boys together. And we're just gonna fucking start murdering some Soviets, aren't we? Oh yeah. Oh, their commie blood will flow red. Here we go, alright, beautiful. Come on, then. Get moving. Oh. 
Is that just another encirclement you've given me? Come now, come now. Don't don't be so greedy. Come on. You can't get encircled all the time. Sometimes you have to encircle other groups, alright? This fucking group up here. Yeah, whatever. I won't actually encircle them this time. Anyway. Radio. Let's roll up north, cut these boys off from north and south, and we'll push up, crush them in Archangelisk, and we'll uh, swing south and go for Moscow, as is the general plan. I mean, to be fair, most plans with invading Russia go end up with, you know, go for Moscow. They just stray along the path at some point. Right, what do we want to do here? Hang on here, support these boys in their attack. Beautiful. Alright, that works. So I'm gonna take Novigrod. Yeah, five. Alright, beautiful. Done. Go, go, go. Oh my god, why have they reorganized? Go now, go. Go. Fucking leg it right now. There's apparently a pun war going on in Twitch chat. I'm not paying attention because we need to fucking rush down all areas available to us. I don't know why they've suddenly left. Oh my god, they're leaving in the north too. Yes, this is our fucking moment. This is our fucking moment. I love it, I love it, I love it. Boosh, 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 bish, bash, bosh. Go, everyone, go, everyone. Fucking go for Moscow right now. Claim that shit. It's yours. It's your dream, innit? Go for it. Don't let your Moscows be dreams, okay? I believe that was the famous quote from uh, a certain Isaac Newton. God. Beautiful story, that. Right. Let's keep pushing across. Okay. You're going to go up and take that uh, port immediately, cutting off any way of getting in from the north. You can just fuck off down here. I love the people that are assigned to clean up Archangelus, because if it fucking matters, Norway offers an alliance. I'm in. I am so fucking in. Uh, guess what? Join me. This is not what I was expecting. Norway joins us in the defensive war against the Soviet fucking Union. Uh, Norway, you do realize I have claims on, like, all your lands, and I'm going to come kill you at some point. At some point. Just not today. Alright, let's keep going. There is still, once again, no one defending Moscow. This seems to be a remarkably uh, scary tactic the Soviets have to lull me into a false sense of security by simply giving me their capital. You know, I just can't, I can never expect what they're going to do next after they've just handed over the most important city in their entire empire. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit rough. A little bit rough fighting against these tactics. They're pretty mean. They're very psychological, you know. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty hectic to fight against. Pretty sick, bruh. In it. All right. Germany, why, why would you do this to me? Germany, you're literally a dying wreck. Germany, fuck off. I'm gonna drink some tea, alright? Germany, this is... I shipped this in from Britain. Fuck you. Mm, that's good tea. Mm. It's called English breakfast. Die in a fucking hole, Germany. Um, right. Do we want to just go m fucking Mountaineers? Mountaineers are very good. Mountaineers are stupidly good. We could also just get paratroopers. Paratroopers would be hilarious. We're getting paratroopers. Um, okay, let's keep getting planes. What else do we want? Um, battlefield support. Strategic attack. Uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, uh, battlefield support. Perfect. Um, lessons of the air. I mean, yeah, hell yeah, give me that shit. Get down and jiggy with it. I like how many of our divisions are currently wasted up north, literally just cleaning up the shit stains of Russia. Come on, get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? Leave, you have jobs to do. You have families to slaughter and children to see murdered viciously. It's our own sort of Nanking up here. Um, are we actually... Okay, six boys, go do it. And so the Soviets marched into Moscow, say the headlines. Liberation of Warsaw. Um... Yeah, sure, I'll trade you. Warsaw for Moscow? Deal. And Moscow's mine. Ra ra Rasputin, I just kicked your fucking ass. So, um... Not entirely sure where to go from here. I've taken Moscow. I was expecting, like, 
you know, victory parades, but it turns out the Russians don't really fucking care. I suppose I don't really either. It's just a city in it. Um, what do I even want here? I guess planes. Sure. Beauty. Let's uh, let's get upgrading, shall we? Nope. None of that. Nah. Maybe some of that. Nah. None of that. Nah. That'd be nice though. Hell yeah. Heart attack. Beautiful. This heart attack. It's going back. I don't know. I don't remember how that song goes. Nor do I really care. Do we lose a bunch of units? Yeah, probably. Right. Um. Minsk. I want to kill it. I want to see its face off. So. Let's go around about here. And then we're just going to go somewhat. Some would accuse me saying somewhat. Just across here. You're not in the pact, are you? Nope, you're good. Alright, perfect. You boys can realign. Excellent. Meanwhile, these boys here are going to scrap their orders. And are going to go down for Vol uh, Volgograd. Of course, right, because Stalin is not in power. That cheeky cunt. Alright, let's move all the way across now, over to here. Beautiful. Theirs will be a pretty normal advance. No need to worry. Okay, I see a problem. The Russians have actually returned. Turns out they don't like us just, you know, shooting all their shit up. Hmm. We would have thought, you know, for a different reaction. But oh well. Uh, planes. How many have we got? 100 fighter 2. Perfect. How many the next type? Jesus, this is quite a good, quite a good uh, part of the game, actually. The part where you have to scroll repeatedly down your list and being like, Hey, how many planes do I got? I don't know. I can't remember. Because, you know, there's like 300 of them. And I haven't even conquered that many countries. Come on. I'm fucking Sweden. What do you expect me to do? Right. Beautiful. That should hopefully give us some control over the skies. Eh, let's move to here instead. That'll give us more control. Alright. There's a lot of punishment. Damn, that's good tea. I'll be frank, I was going to actually add this on stream as well. And I still will. But I've just realized because of the way I'm recording it, I don't think there's even going to be any cuts. There's apparently a threat of communism. Therefore, we're going fascist. Perfect. Alright. Let's see, what are we doing? Oh my god, how did they take Moscow back? This is a fucking disgrace. Alright, this is not going to stand. Fagerlein, Fagerlein. God fucking damn it. Crush them all. Crush them all against my steel fucking boots we bought with German steel. Wait, German money. Swedish steel. We probably made them too, to be honest. Look, just crush them under my fucking boots, alright. Good. Nope, shit. God fucking damn it, Sweden. You had it for a moment. For the briefest of moments, you had it. Uh, let's just not pay any attention to them. Okay, bye bye, fascists. We just don't want to look at you just yet. Because we just haven't met you yet. Sorry. Um, we're just going to say go, go. Right, beautiful. Let's take Moscow again, shall we? Oh god, that was easy. Almost as easy the first time. To be frank, the first time was probably even easier. Um, right, push the tanks. Go to Rezev. Lovely. God, that is also surprisingly easy. Should we just surround them here? Yeah, we probably should. Tanks are significantly better in the offense here. Nice. We're gonna march across the river here. Yugoslavia, how dare you capitulate? You were fighting for us, damn it. Right. Um. Shit. I'm not quite sure what to research right now. I mean, I can't even do the armed league of neutrality for a while because I'm not even fucking demo. I won't even be democratic in a moment. Do I want to like switch back after I become fascist again? That might be a silly idea, but it could be a good one. It's almost definitely a silly one. It's, it is a silly idea, but I'm still going to do it. Um, right. How much time have we left? Hey, we got like 15 minutes. It's good. Hey, you know we're down to only three hours left of this 24-hour live stream? God damn. That's like at least less than half. Oh, nice. The Yalta Conference. Um, 
Soviet Union should really be thinking about other things than splitting Germany in half right now, to be honest. Like the fact that they are apparently... Oh my god, Bratislava holds out. Bratislava will prevail. Bratislava will not go quietly into the night. It will fight. Fight the dying light. Good old Bratislava. Now, can we actually, like, fucking kill these people yet? Come on. How did you get behind my lines? Did you just want to encircle yourself? What is this? How did that occur? What? What? Wait, what? What? Hang on, hang on, what? Okay, what the fuck? Okay. West Germany. German Reich. I'm so fucking lost. What the fuck just happened? Beautiful. You're now at war with the now democratic Yugoslavs. Poland is now in the Allies, because Poland's apparently a thing again. And Republic and Italy joined the Northern Concord. That's right, they're in my war. Yeah. Come fight. I'm slightly confused as to what the fuck that peace deal even was. Um... Denmark's a kingdom again. And they're in the Allies. Uh... Yeah, this is not okay. France, France, Greece, Soviet Union. Yeah, there's there's some problems around here. How's Japan doing? Oh, Japan's doing great. Wait, Japan, why the fuck aren't you, like, advancing further? Because there's, like, no resistance to you, dude. Go on. Go. There probably is, but I just can't see it. You know what? Still go. Kill both of you. You'll be right. Look, everything is fucked. Someone got timed out in chat. I think they were using too many puns. Fucking lol. Um, right. Let's go take that plane. I like how I forgot the word for an airport for there for a moment. I was like, plane base in my head. Then I realized, no, that's definitely not it. Plap, it's, it's plane dispensary. No. At that point, I'd realized I'd simply forgotten the word for airport. And I just proceeded to wait until I could remember it. I've been awake for a long time. Let's, uh, let's go up to here, shall we? I do quite enjoy the Soviet Union just seems to have troops guarding the end of the line, just in case, you know, we got some extra troops to sit there and do nothing. That'd be very useful. You want to send us volunteers? Sure. I'm not going to turn them down, you fucking weirdo. Radio. Sign all these boys. Off we go. There we go, that's pretty nice. We're going to get 12 more, fill it out to be 24. With 12 more. 24. Hmm. I'll be honest, the fact that we're still attacking, I did not realize. That was a pretty bad idea. We were getting killed a lot. That's not a good thing. Let's, uh, let's go on this way, shall we? Hunter, there is no POW mechanics in uh, Hearts of Iron because they have massive can of worms it opens. The reason why you can't capture people in Hearts of Iron is because then you go, well, we'll have to put them in a camp, won't we? And what about those that escape? What about if we don't want to let them live? And what about if we want to oppress them? Or what about if we want to not put them in camps? What if we want to have civil unrest from the... Yeah. And then it goes down to what about the civilian populace? And then you end up with another holocaust, and it doesn't really, like, Hearts of Iron does not want to be a holocaust recreation simulator. That's generally what they're trying to avoid, despite our efforts to make it the complete opposite, of course. I may have accidentally either become democratic or started a civil war. Oh. Oh, never mind. Oh, never fucking mind. No. No, a civil war is happening. Whoops. Um. Well, there goes half my army. Yeah, there's Finn. He's an urban assault specialist. So. Well, there goes half of that, too. 
Holy sweet fucking Jesus. Okay. This is unfair. I'm just going to state that. Um. Remarkably unfair. Why am I in the Axis now? Why is he still in the Northern Concord? I'm so confused. Alright, we're just gonna go home. You know what? You know what? Fuck this. Fuck this. We're going home. Yep, you boys, go here. All along here, and then you're gonna capture this fucking Swedish bitch right here. All the way along here. Capture it all up, and go. Uh, you boys are going to sail straight for home and defend the motherland, because we might get fucked otherwise. Um, this ain't gonna go great, is it? Fucking nope. Well, this is not going the way I thought it would, that's for sure. Um, there we go, that'll do. Oh boy. Wait, the divisions are still on my side? Okay, sure, that, that works. Um... God damn it, what do I do? Well, shit. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. Um... I think we are a little buggered right now. We have to wait for to clean up this big bit of a... Oh, what the shit, why did... Wait. Wait, what happened to all our land in the Soviet Union? Oh, I'm no longer fighting the Soviets. Thank you, Hunter, who pointed that out. I actually aren't. I'm, I'm not. Oh, for fuck's sake. Welp, time to form everyone up under good old Eric of Edelheim. Lovely. Uh, we're just going to call this Shits Fucked and the Shit is Clogged. Perfect. And get all our boys, put them on here. Get them ready for an advance. Deploy these three boys too, they can join in. This does make me concerned about the fact that there is also an enemy navy currently in the area, so I'm just going to deploy my own. I think we're good. We're making it through. Swedish subs are attacking Swedish convoys. It's a sad day. Sad day to see this. No, oh, we lost a destroyer. I think it's because we're now fighting the French. What? No, wait, we're fighting ourselves. Okay. We did quite literally have a civil war, even in the Navy. Did we just lose a fucking aircraft carrier? Oh, wait, no, they did, but we did. Oh, fuck. No, it's France. Okay, that's good. Welp. Um. Oh. Somehow they've gone for the Soviet tactic of just letting me take their land. This rebellion seems about it as effective as, uh, as possible. So, you know, given that it's a democratic rebellion, completely in fucking effective. I imagine the Weimar Republic would be set a few days- uh, set up a few days after they, uh, somehow succeeded in their war. Here we go, let me just assign the rest of these people here. Okay, West Germany's now changed colour. German Reich is a thing again. The Soviet Union is still a creepy fucking place, and I'm not entirely sure what's happening anymore. Overall, this is- wait. Wait, did we just win? Oh yeah, we won. Um, so, um... The Swedish have gotten a little bit annoyed, switching back and forth all the time, so, um... They actually gave two different referendums. Here we go, let me just... There we go, we're now double democratic again. Who the fuck is this guy? I have no idea, but... I was setting out to make this from the very start, and... Look, we made it, alright? It doesn't matter how we got here, all that matters is that we made it. 
we have made. Wait for it if I can snipe it. The third league of armed neutrality. Lithuania's in. Latvia's in. Estonia's in. Indeed, the Baltic states are all in. If we just look at this for a moment. They are now all puppeted by us for some fucking reason. They're league members. And if I go manage subjects... At this point, they are a league member. I can actually... Oh, I can't demote. It's always false for some reason. How dare I be unable to demote them? I always wanted to see what, like, how this actually works. So I, I think the only thing that being a league member does is it means they cannot decline a call to war. Um, which is a little weird, but I guess that's kind of nice. Yeah, it just means that uh, no matter what, they will always be drawn into wars, whether they like it or not. But apparently they can change their autonomy to become free. That's a little fucking strange. I can't make them dominions, but they can become free of their responsibilities to the to the league. Look, um, this game's fucked. It was fun, very fun. We invaded the Soviets and had a good old time. Uh, but ironically enough, despite the fact that I'm tired as fuck right now and sleepy and recording this literally on the stream, that wasn't what fucked us up. What fucked us up, oh boy, oh boy, was, uh, first of all, that weird civil war. That was not good. Uh, secondly, the Germans piecing out and then unpiecing and then piecing out and then unpiecing repeatedly uh, to the point where they still actually exist in more places than one. But, yeah, I don't think we have anywhere to go from here. It's, um, it was hell of a run. It was a very good mod. I quite enjoyed it. We got to, uh, to push into Sweden. We got to proclaim the empire. We're now greater Sweden, even though we're still democratic. Norway sort of, you know, stuck their dick in us and made us democratic a little bit. And Denmark then rejoined us as well. And, look, there's some very weird shenanigans going on here. Oh, and something that I'm trying to point out. I think it's actually been wiped out at this point. But, uh, is it gone? Yeah, so the Kingdom of Denmark, the neutral Denmark, uh, was actually in the Allies and simultaneously at war with every single one of the Allies, whilst Denmark was not in the Allies and was at war with the Soviet Union in their group and neutral Denmark. It was very fucking confusing. Um, so yeah, we're just going to leave it there. We're just shit fuck shit's fucked and the, the shit is clogged and and our leader is now a general and all of all of his troops are gone all right thanks for watching I'm, I'm gonna do something next time maybe maybe it will actually hold together for like more than three episodes farewell